Today, you find me standing in a field by myself, surrounded by houses that aren't my own. But don't worry, I have a solution for this. Using this very chest and these mere materials inside here, I am going to be making my very own house that can fly. That's right. Before we took a look at a creation by the magic McMackerstein who created a house that had legs so it could walk around and I think it could shoot TNT as well. So that was a cool little bonus feature. But today he's gone one step further and allowed us to create a house that not only instantly builds itself, but also grows a propeller. I think that's what it's called. Is that, is that what it's called? What is the thing on top of a... Rooster's head called. <laughs> what is that called? The wattle. It's called the wattle, guys. Ah! Let's actually Google what we were supposed to Google. What is the spinning thing on top of the helicopter called? Rotating blades. Um, <laughs> that's definitely not a helicopter, though. I think that's a drone. Come on, NASA. Come on. Think about this. Rotor blades. Let's just call it blades. I spent way too much time on that. Um, let's get into the action, shall we? And I also have two villages right here. I spawned right there. If you want to know the seed for this, because it's actually pretty decent. Is it going to load? Minecraft? Is that even a command? I'm so confused today. Seed! Tell the people the seed. Look, there's a village there and a village here. People want to know the seed. I mean... I thought Minecraft was an advanced computer gaming system. It appears it is failing to come up with numbers. Kind of like when I'm uh, I'm faced with simple maths, I guess. So while it's thinking, let's create this thing. So let's pop down this chest right here. And then inside it, in this pattern, we need to put 30 spruce planks, one set of five oak planks on the left, one set of five oak planks on the right. 10 bricks in the middle, then three sets of oak logs at the bottom. And then you throw a nether star on top. So uh, let's see if this works, shall we? Bam. I missed. Bam. Whoa. <laughs> I know you saw the pig. The pig made the house. Oh my goodness. This one's giving me flowers. The house even gives me flowers. It's even better than a best friend. And it has rotor blades. I will cherish this flower forever. Thank you. Um, look at this house. This house is great. Glass panes, bushes on the outside. This is actually better than anything that I could build. Especially in the time it takes to craft this. I mean, you do need a nether star if you're doing this in survival. But this thing can fly. Guys, guys, you jealous? Check it out. I've got myself. Look, they're talking about it. They're gossiping. Look at that guy's new house. Look how cool it is. I know. And let me show you, it gets cooler. So if we go inside up these beautifully handcrafted wooden stairs, we are presented with a crafting table, a furnace, and also an ender chest for free, where I'm going to keep my special flower that was delivered to me by this house. We also get a enchanting table, but we want to have a look at this little portal here. So um, let me just walk into it, and then hopefully it will sprout wings. No, not wings. Rotors. It will grow rotors, and hopefully it, it works. Uh, okay, we've got some technical issues here. Let me just <laughs> let me just read the manual. One, one sec. Do I need to... Oh, I need to right click it. Okay, perfect. Look at this. It's actually growing rotors. Take flight, my pretty. I think if I right click this, it works. Come on, go up. Oh, I have to hold it. Rise! Rise, my beast. Look at this. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, dude. Okay, this is as high as it goes. No, it's still going. I'm going to stop it there. Stop this. And then it has some weapons. And it also has an abducting mechanism, which is why I'm pretty happy I am near a village. Because today, we're going to abduct a villager and take it to Area 51. I mean, why not? That's what they're keeping in Area 51 anyway. Rogue alien villagers. Uh, okay, let me just show you. I don't even know what this does. Let's move forwards. Here we go. It's moving. And then we just click the arrows to change direction. Oh, this controls so much better than the walking house. This thing is crazy. Go right. Yeah. And then we can go down. I think this exits it. Uh, okay, let's do some damage, shall we? So let's test this real quick. I'm going to go forwards and press this button right here. I like to call this the danger button. You press it once and 
out comes the TNT. And it, I think it explodes on contact as well. So no matter how high you are in the air, it will explode when it touches something, not kind of like do a timer and then explode when you don't want it to. How quickly can we spawn this? Okay, it's not too bad. You can kind of create your own ravine. And if you stop it in place, you can just drop these bad boys for ages. Create your very own little hole down there. Oh my goodness. The water is blocking me. We found the house's great weakness. Okay, let us fly over to this village. And let me test this on a cow, actually. I'm going to go a little bit lower. And I'm going to test this abducting feature. It works exactly the same as you would expect a UFO to. So I guess this is what they could be hiding in Area 51. Stop. Stop. I don't want to be going any... No, stop. Come on. I'm a new pilot, forgive me. But yeah, maybe they're just hiding this highly complex house in Area 51. They don't want to, they want normal Steve's finding out about this, you crazy. Right, we need to test this. There's a cow walking straight underneath. Let's press the second button here. And apparently, we can abduct anybody. Oh. Oh, it happened. Yes! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> the cow is mine. Okay, so if I fly over here and then land it, the cow should be inside the house. I kid you not. Actually, you know what? I'm going to stop. I'm going to take this one step further. I'm going to abduct a sheep and a horse as well. Who needs a horse to ride on when you can abduct one in your flying house? There's a golem over there as well, which I really want to get my hands on. So I'm going to abduct him too. But I'm going to try and abduct a whole village with this machine. Come on, sheep. You know you want to be part of it. Okay, that's way off. Turn it round. Go forwards. Don't move a muscle, sir. This isn't going to hurt in the slightest. Yes, come to me. <laughs> I wonder what happens if it fills up. That's got to be pretty uncomfortable for everyone, no? And to complete my collection, I'm going to grab myself this sheep. Go on, take him. Take him up. There we go. And now, if I move, the animal should move with me. And then, land the house, the animal should be inside. This is literally the greatest invention ever. Where shall I go? Where should I land this thing? I don't have a helipad. Okay, I'm gonna land this here. If I hit exit, I think the rotor blades retract. There we go. And it lands. Hey, friends! I know, I know you're excited or extremely worried as to how you got here. Um, wait a second. Oh, um, yeah, you, you probably want to stay in here because... It's quite dangerous out here. We appear to be on the edge. So if you want to land the house, you have to land it properly. Um, who wants to go skydiving? That's a that's a pastime that we can explore here. A little new hobby for you guys. Do you want to try this? Let's just uh just throw you out here. No one will no one will remember you. Can he even get out? He can't get out. He's too fat. Right, who wants to go next? Cow, can you fit through a one door thing? Come on, get out. Get out, why? Oh, guys, you need to lose some weight, please. Fine, no skydiving for anyone. But I do want to start capturing these guys. So let's try and abduct a village in Minecraft, shall we? Using our floating house. Oh, no. Oh, no, it happened. Uh, yeah, I can see that down there. Oh, no, why? Why has this happened to me? Look, look what happened. Jason, I think that's what his name was. Jason died. He fell through the floor. So that's a word of caution. If you put your favorite animal in the house and try and fly it from uh, from the air, your animals will die. So keep your pets safe, locked up in your non-moving house. <laughs> right, it's time to turn this bad boy around. Quick U-turn, and we're going to abduct some villagers. Let's see how many we can fit in this house of ours. Here we go. If I aim this correctly, I should be able to pick up this iron golem. Here we go. Oh, I got them both! <laughs> I see them in there. It works. Right, let's grab some villagers to go with that. We're making our very own new ecosystem inside this house. Can you imagine if you're this guy down here? You're casually farming your crops. Normal day, trying to just make some honest emeralds of yourself. And then, bam! A house... No, stop. Stop. You missed! A house floats above you and tries to abduct you. I just need to quickly turn this bad boy around. Here we go. Stop. Abduct. Bring him in. We need farmers. <laughs> this is perfect. I love this. Oh, there's a gang of three over there. Let's see if we can grab these guys all at once. They're probably gossiping. They're like, did you hear? Harry got abducted. Well, you're about to be the next people to be... No, they split up. They're too smart for us. They're advanced. Definitely get these guys. Here we go. Abduct. Yes. Oh, he volunteered himself perfectly. He went straight into the 
stream? I guess that's what we're going to call it. <laughs> oh, no. Don't think you're going to escape just because you ran away. Those little legs can't take you far. And we're also going to need some pets up here. Don't worry. We're not going to get too attached to them. We're not going to name them. We're just going to absorb them so that the villagers have... Have some pets in there. <laughs> Come here, kitty. We don't have fish up here because I haven't abducted any, but we have villagers. We have friends. Come here, kitty. I am way off. Oh, man. I need to get my license after this. This is embarrassing. Come here, kitty. Come on, Whiskers. That's right. Welcome to the fam. Okay, I feel like we've actually got a lot of people here. Um, What should we do now? <laughs> That's kind of all the features. Let's see what we've created and how high can we go. Let's test that, shall we? I'm just going to sit back. Let the house do its thing and see how high we can go. We can make a, a, a whole ecosystem, a village ecosystem in the sky. Oh, those guys have a fountain. I've never seen a village with a fountain. That's impressive. These are some advanced intellectuals, so I'm glad we grabbed them. Oh, we're making it through the clouds. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Soon we won't be able to see any of the villages. And I think as well, if I stop in the sky like this, stop, exit, it's going to park itself. And then when I start again, I think everyone's going to fall out. Hello. Welcome to your new home. Oh, these cats are cute. Hey, guys, they've got two different eye colors. Both of them. I've never seen that before. How cute. Hello, guys. How are you? Did they open the door and then like... <laughs> oh, no, they're going skydiving. Right, you go in. You go in. They, say... <laughs> they just walked out the door like, no, no, we're too high up. This is where they came from and we're up here now. Oh, man. This feels slightly strange. Not gonna lie. Um, are you gonna go? You gonna go for a little bit of a. Uh, you know? Let's see if he wants to take the plunge. I haven't got any parachutes, I'm afraid. I haven't got that far in Minecraft to make them. So, uh, see you later, friends. Bye. I'll, I'll see you when you get there, okay? See you later, buddy. Oh, there's water right there. Oh, I could have been much nicer. Ah. Oh. Oh, I do. I do actually feel kind of bad now. That that was, that was evil. So unfortunately, it's, it's kind of come to this. Don't look at me in the eyes like that, please, please, Bruno. Don't don't do it. It's it's gonna be painful for me, but way more painful for you. As soon as I activate this, oh no! <laughs> they all just fell out the bottom. Wait, iron golems don't take full damage. He should have survived. The cat survived too? They've only used one of their nine lives. That that must be it. Just making a quick descent to the floor and um, see what damage we've caused. Looks like the cats are fine. Oh, cat, watch out! Oh, no. Why? They survived such a, a high fall and now I've crushed it. I've crushed it with a house. Cat, are you okay? Kitty? Kitty, I can hear him. Oh! Wait, was it you or was it your friend? I'm not too sure. Hello? Kitty? I think it might have been you. I'm destroying my magic house. This isn't great. I wonder what happens. Oh. Yeah, I, I wonder what happens if you destroy it and then launch it again. What happens? Well, the cat either is crushed forever. I think it was that one. I'm pretty sure it was that one. Let's say it's that one to make me feel better. Did it rebuild itself? Oh, it rebuilds itself. It's magic. Not only can it grow its very own helicopter parts, but it can also heal. This is great news. And now it's turning to nighttime. We can just start dropping bombs, like infinite bombs on the enemy. I think this creation is great. McMackerstein is an absolute genius. Apparently, you can combine the two mods as well, the walking house and the flying house. Put that in a multiplayer world in 1.14.4, and you've got yourself some borderline vanilla transformers in Minecraft. I think this is awesome. That's pretty much all the features. And now I'm going to dedicate myself to a, uh, to a life in the sky where no one can bother me. No cold callers, no villagers stealing my bed. Bliss. Absolute bliss. <laughs> you don't know what's coming for you, buddy. A big old load of TNT square on your forehead. Here it comes. I'm just going to keep on clicking this. And you'll be dead in no time. Don't look up. The rule is normally don't look down, but don't look up. Oh, that spider got annihilated. Yes, zombies. They're not even running. They're not even scared. But you should be. There's a flying house. Whoa! Why you do this to me, house? 
First, you, you, you try and kill a cat. You kill all the friends that we collected, and then you try and kill me too. Next, you, next thing, this Enderman's gonna try and eat me, or hug me, or grab me. Try and abduct me and take me to Area 51. Well, well, we need to return you. What a complex and beautiful machine. I thought this was awesome, guys. I think McMackerstein's an absolute Minecraft genius. You can check out his video on this in the description below. Go and check out his crazy creations. And let's see what he can do next inside vanilla Minecraft. We've had, we've had walk-in house, fly-in house. What next? Submarine house. Get on it, Mackerstein. Get on it. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. That would be greatly appreciate it. Subscribe if you are brand new to the channel for new content every single day. Minecraft Hardcore returns tomorrow. I just wanted to show you this because I thought it was awesome. And it was probably a little bit too risky to put in my Hardcore world, which I did think about. But I did almost die, so probably for the best. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all the support recently, and I'll see you soon. Good bye. Wagon, candle, canvas, sofa, fork, rubber band.